Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another company joining the woke mob. The latest is North Face. Well, 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 you thought it was just Bud Light, Maybelline, Nike, Target, Anheuser-Busch, the list is going on and on. Nope. Now, enter North Face into the chat. So, ESG has gotten their dirty little hands into another company. This time, it is the North Face. And quickly, uh, when I was growing up, I remember it was really cool to own a North Face fleece. It was kind of like a low-key status symbol at the school. I think those days are about to come to a screeching halt. Now, what did they do? Well, they didn't partner with Dylan Mulvaney. Okay, so I don't think this is as bad. And I will roll the new North Face ad for you in one second. But they partnered up with a drag queen. You can see here on the business section of the New York Post, drag queen Patagonia says, come out in North Face Summer Pride. Well, first things first, Patagonia, uh, isn't Patagonia a top competitor to North Face? So in and of itself, it's already a dumb marketing decision. But let's dive into the ad. Okay, you can see the tweet here from Clown World. If you're not following them on Twitter, highly recommend you do. This is probably, other than Reese Politics, the best place to get your woke culture war news. Now, let's dive into the clip and you let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if this is as bad as the Mulvaney Bud Light saga disaster. Quick warning, I cannot play the audio from this. It's some like synth pop, but I'm pretty sure it is subject to copyright. Eh, it's probably for the best. You'll understand why in just a second. Hi, it's me, Patagonia, a real life homosexual. Okay, so this is just, you know, again, clearly a, I don't know, want to say a trans dude, but kind of looks that way. It's obviously a drag queen saying nature's great. You can see all the North Face pride garb. Uh, and my main problem, which I'll get to at the end of this reaction, let's just keep it on the ad, uh, but it's a pretty big one. So again, he's highlighting lesbians are here. And this whole thing is to try and get people to, quote, come out into nature, which I can't help but take that as that they want people coming out of the closet in another way that has nothing to do with Mother Nature. So, of course, they're doing this in the disguise of pride and the celebration of everything that that entails. And again, you can see him spinning around there, LG, HG, TV, whatever, Summer of Pride. So there you go. That is the North Face ad with the drag queen Patagonia. My main issue is not with North Face linking up for pride. We've seen companies going down this route of pride for at least a decade now, it seems, right? But... My main problem is that they are encouraging people to come out and they are also, again, what I said earlier about it used to be cool to own a North Face fleece jacket in middle school or high school. Uh, that also, to me, reads that this could be directed towards minors. Again, this is my opinion. These are my concerns. I'm not saying North Face is saying that, but again, this seems like a whole Pride Month Trojan horse where this is ideally what they're pushing. And you can see here from the New York Post, the top of the article, it says the North Face created a stir. Well, no crap when it announced the Summer of Pride outdoor event series with a video on social media starring drag queen Patty Gonia, who encourages viewers to come out. And again, that's my whole thing. It, you know, it's one thing to say, hey, we support this, gay marriage, whatever, rights, whatever. It's another thing to be like, hey, come out, do it. You know, we're all cool and doing it. It's like, no, we don't need to be forced to do anything. Again, we as not only the consumer want to have options, but we as individuals want to have our freedom to choose what we want to do. We don't need this ideology, this ESG, this corporate mob type mentality crammed down each and every one of our throats. And in the ad, you have him saying things like, hi, it's me, Patagonia, real life homosexual. It's like, okay, yeah, we can gather that. Again, it's just kind of obvious he said i'm here with the north face we are here to invite you to come out in nature with us and again there you go it's a north face official it's a partnership it's a marketing promotion whatever you want to call it it's very symbolic of the times and you can see that bud light and nike and maybelline uh, target they're all using the same handbook where they think that pushing this stuff is a good idea in another video, we'll cover this. You, re you had the Target CEO actually defending 
pushing this crap onto kids, which again is just super creepy. And I will again dive deeper into that, but let's continue on with the article. Uh, the tour dubbed Summer of Pride invites North Face fans to gather outside for hikes to celebrate Pride and bring camping to the outdoors. Now, they are playing that lightly, I'm sure, because of the Mulvaney backlash, because AB and Bev, InBev stock, excuse me, has crashed more, and it's been an estimated $15.7 billion, with a B, billion dollar loss for Bud Light in terms of market share. So I'm sure North Face is trying to be as aggressive as they can in one sense by hiring this guy, Patty Gonia. And then in another sense, they're also trying to kind of skirt around the issue at hand, which is pushing this crap onto minors. One other bone I have to pick with this and, and smash that like button if you think this is just another stupid marketing decision, but one bone that I really want to gripe about, it says this tour has everything, hiking, community, art, lesbians, lesbians marking art. Again, it's like they are trying to box us into these identities. And it's like you can be an individual without identifying with every single group. And you don't have to support every single group. You, you know, it doesn't, we don't have to be doing this. Just advertise that your products keep people warm in the wintertime, add that you have a nice summer line for hiking. It doesn't have to be gender politics. Like every other brand seems to be committing the same dumb error. Also, let me know where you think this ranks among the recent sagas. Obviously, Mulvaney and Bud Light, I think, is sitting unequivocally number one on the throne, unmatched in terms of absolute sheer stupidity in terms of partnership. Uh, Target, definitely second. Everything I've read about their CEO, he just seems like a real creeper. And then third, I think, is a close tie between Disney and or North Face. I'm going to give the edge to Disney there just because they have been trying to push this crap for a long time. And then North Face, I think, would come in fourth on my woke power rankings. Now let's look at the horrific advert. And I apologize to some of my viewers who don't want to see this crap, but it wouldn't be the information war and we wouldn't be winning it if we weren't sharing it and speaking out against it. Here you can see Patagonia uh, dressed as a woman in her full rainbow North Face garb. And again, we've seen some dumb collabs from the North Face recently, like their line with Gucci, where they were selling like $2,500 jackets. It's like, okay, if you need to be cold, I mean, if you need to be warm in the winter, buy a coat. You don't need to drop $2,500 on it. Here, they are marketing towards little kids. I'm going to cut the image short there, you can see the rainbow garb and the slippers. Again, this stuff is marketed towards the youth, which again, that is my whole problem. The main ultimate end goal concern of what I call a Trojan horse, where they start gently by chipping away at the castle gates. Next thing you know it, they're launching the full horse in there. And all of a sudden you have a bunch of crazy drag queens running around your castle and screaming from the top of their lungs that we all need to talk about gender fluidity. That is simply not a world in which I want to bring children into. As a new parent myself, I find that very disturbing. Again, it's one thing if you're a full-grown adult, you can make these conscious decisions. It's another thing if you're pushing it on young kids who, again, can't think for themselves clearly. Now, the rainbow motif is also printed in adults, tees, hoodies, jackets, shoes, hats. Oh, good. So you can get every article of clothing, don't worry. Uh, for $165, I bet you they're going to sell less than 100 of these nationwide. Why Reese politics? Because no one wants to be seen supporting this culture war. I'm even getting some great comments on this channel, which I try to respond to as many as I can. Thank you so much for keeping the conversation going. Is that you cannot have these products that make a political statement. Why would you immediately want to walk into the room and be divided from somebody else? It's not good for business. It's not good for relationships, friendships, dating life, whatever. It's like the three cardinal sins that you don't talk about on the first date. Those things would be religion, politics, and money. Just want to shoot yourself in the foot right off the gate. But again, in today's world, all these companies want to make everything hyper-political, even though you can tell by Bud Light and Target now what you're experiencing. Boycotts, nobody wants it. So North Face, why are you doing it? 
It's not just me blasting this woke crap. You can see the outcry from other folks. Quote, I will no longer be buying these products. This is in bad taste to the nation at this moment. Another person said, why is one sexuality important when it comes to advertising gear? Right. No one was sitting around a campfire in the middle of an ascent to Mount Everest thinking, oh, I wonder what North Face thinks about gender fluidity. Right. Of course they weren't. But the corporate ESG woke overlords in the ivory towers were. That's who is pushing this crap. Another person said, uh, another similar sentiment on Twitter was that many people wondered if the ad, which featured a drag queen, was satire. <laughs> That's how bad it's gotten. You can't even tell if this crap is real. It says, I'm being serious. Did someone make this ad as a spoof or is this real? Which is a great question for many, many problems in the year of 2023. Sometimes it is so strange, it is so far out that it doesn't seem real. If you're new here, please make sure to consider subscribing to this channel and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. I wanted to personally thank each and every one of the subscribers to this channel. The rapid growth of Reese Politics would not be possible without you, and I am so, so thankful for each and every one of you. Lastly, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, share these videos so we can win the information war, and leave your thoughts again in the comment section on what you think will come of North Face. Will they suffer the same fate as Bud Light or will they be let off scotch-free to return to their outdoor activities, end quote, coming out? That's it for this one, folks. Thanks again for all of the support. Until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, be well and take care.